Hi guys, it's Charlie. I hope you're all well. This is the third time that I film this now because I just start blabbering on and making no sense. Um, but as you can see, I'm wearing the same clothes that I was wearing in my last video. That's because I'm filming a few videos today because I had a lot of videos that I wanted to do. So, um, yes, this video is going to be the day and night tag. I wasn't actually tagged to do this video, but I love doing tags and I've seen this tag um, about on a few different people's channels. So I thought it would be cool to do it. So the first question is, do you read more in the morning or at night? I read, I do read in the morning, but I read far more at night. Just because I find reading very relaxing and I, I find it quite hard to sleep. And I just find that reading just really calms me down, helps me forget about everything else. And just puts me in the right mood to sleep, if that makes sense. So, yeah, I read more at night. Next question is, are there any books that change the way you thought about things? One book pops into my brain as soon as I say that question, um, and that is a book that I'm going to mention, and that is 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. Um, now, obviously, this book is about a girl who committed suicide, and she did these tapes... And on them are 13 reasons why she killed herself. And if you receive the tapes, you are one of the reasons. And this book kind of, it made me realise, like, how the smallest thing or the smallest way you behave to someone else can have the biggest effect. And now, not that I was horrible to people before, but um, it's kind of just made me think a little bit more about what I say before I say something or... Like, how I am towards people when I'm out. Um, just, yeah, it just really did make me think about that a lot. Um, so, yes, that is question two. Um, the third one is YA or not. Um, I love YA books. I read mostly YA books. But... I do like, you know, adult books and I like a vast range of books, but mainly I do read YA. Uh, the next question is, are there characters that you honestly believe are real? There's no characters that I honestly believe are real, um, because I know they're all from a book, but a character that I would love to have been real is Budo from Memoirs of an Imaginary Friend. Budo is in the imaginary friend to a little boy called Max. And I just loved him. Like, I wish we all had a Budo. It would just be awesome if a Budo could just follow us around. So he's a character that I would like to be real. Um, but there's none that I honestly believe are real. So the next one is, nobody touches my books or I don't mind loaning my books out. I don't mind loaning my books out, but I get really angry if they come back and they're in a bad condition because I just think if you're borrowing something from somebody else's, from somebody else, you have to pay care and attention to it. Like if I was borrowing somebody else's book, I know that I would look after it so much because it's not mine. Like do what you want with your own books, but don't like mess up somebody else's. So yes, I would loan my books out, but I do worry the condition that they're going to come back in. The next one is... Uh, do you ever smell your books? No, I don't smell my books. Um, the only time I smell books is if I'm buying them from a second hand, like a charity shop. I Because sometimes they can smell a bit, uh, But apart from that, no, I don't smell my books. Um, the next one is, not everyone loves books. Is this a po positive or a negative? Um, well... I think everybody likes and dislikes different things. Like, somebody might love sports, somebody else might not. It's not a negative. Everybody's different. If we were all the same, it would be very boring. However, I do think it's sad because there are so many incredible books in the world. I think it's really, really sad that people, if people don't read. But if you don't like it, you know, like I said, everybody's different. But I, I think it's sad. I don't think it's negative. But I think it's sad. Um, the next one is... Um, I keep my books in the best condition or maybe not. I do try to keep my books in quite good condition. I buy like plastic covers for some of them. I do like to keep them in quite good condition. 
But then there's also something very satisfying about looking at a book that looks like it's been really well loved and read. Um, like a really old book. But, um, yeah, I do look after my books. Um, gosh, I have too many books, true or false. I don't need to answer that. You guys have seen how many hauls I've done. That is so true. But I just can't stop buying them. Um... <laughs> The next question is, have you ever spilled or stained your books before with something? And if so, how? Um, the only thing I've ever got on my books is, like, you know when you put your mug of tea or whatever on top of them, they get, like, the ring? Like, and I've never done that. I don't drink tea or anything like that. But, like, my dad, it drives me mad. Like, if I put a book down, I'll go down and find his cup of tea on it. And it drives me mad. Um... But no, I, I don't think I have actually spilled anything on them. I try not to, or not that I can remember, but um, toned or untoned while reading, or in other words, do you read and work out at the same time? If you can read and work out at the same time, you are amazing. You should sell that skill. <laughs> I couldn't do that. I find it hard enough working out on its own. I could not read, and because I know that I wouldn't be taking what I'm reading in, um, if that means, like an audio book is good, like I love to listen to an audio book if I'm out jogging or something like that, that's really really good, but I couldn't do like a proper workout, um, whilst like reading a book, like I just, I couldn't, I've seen like a lot of people at the gym with Kindles, and I'm thinking, how can you actually be reading and working out at the same time, like, I just couldn't do it, um, but yeah, so that is the day and night tag, I'll put all the questions that are in this tag down below, I'm going to tag, who do I want to tag? I'm not sure who's done it and who hasn't, but I'm going to tag the secret booktuber, um, Sue Morrow, um, Izzy from Izziness89, um, Elise from Elise and Her Books, and who else? And Ryan from Ryan Reads Books. Um, but you can order it. Um, they're just people that I can think of off the top of my brain. I can't think of anymore. I probably should have written it down. But, um, if you want to do it, do it. But these are the people I tag. So, um, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!